Hello, hello, it's Kitty, your ADHD spokes cat, coming to you from picturesque Atlanta, Canada, where, in fact, it is a picturesque, sunny, warm day. Uh, probably not as warm as yesterday. Uh, I can always tell by the amount of heat that's in uh, what I what I call the atrium here, and yeah, it's 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 not too bad. Just a pleasant summer day, and I hope it's a pleasant. <laughs> there you go, Jack. There's one for you. The pleasant summer day on Friday, June the twenty fifth. And yeah, what, yeah, I hope that it's a pleasant day where you are. And if it isn't, then trust me, it will be tomorrow. And don't forget, it starts from within. Sometimes you can be um, depressed on a sunny day. I know I have been uh, and in the past, but you know what? It's what you put into your brain. And that's what we're talking about this week, is what you put into your brain, into your subconscious. And I know we hear a lot about that. Uh, who, and we're going to talk about that today. So, um, who am I? I am Kitty. I help my fellow ADHDers slice through their physical and emotional clutter so they can crush it in the boardroom, they can crush it in the bedroom and beyond. Why? Because they feel so good. They, uh, they have tackled the 5H areas of their life, their health, their, they've decluttered their home, their health, their habits, their heart, spirituality, and their head. What's between the ears? I firmly believe that once you clear the cobwebs in in between your ears, you are well on your way to improved health, improved wealth, and relationships. My clients, my clients have done it. I have done it, and I am very glad to see you, whoever you are. <laughs> and I'm going to find out in a minute. I hope. Hello, hello, and a welcome. Um, I, what else do I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a wonderful. Uh, uh, Dr. Christine Sauer and I had a wonderful webinar happening yesterday. Good heavens, we had at least 20 to 25 people show up. And yesterday, if you scroll back in the feed, you will see that I had the feed for it. Uh, I should say I had the link to register. And if you would like that replay, I I don't know if you can click it and she'll send it to you. Hello, Pam! Um, or if if not, if that doesn't work, then just uh, just send me a direct message and I'll get hold of her and I'll make sure that she sends it to you. Because it actually was good. It went over an hour, which we didn't expect, because people kept having questions. I couldn't believe it. And we had people from the UK. I think there was somebody from Malaysia there. It was very, very exciting, actually. And I haven't done a webinar in, in a long time. So, so it was really exciting. And today, uh, it never rains but it pours, right? I have the honor of joining 15, uh, 15 coaches, colleagues, in another uh, a virtual event and the link for that is down below it's being hosted by by um, my actually a schoolmate of mine someone in my course and a colleague Pam Heath hello Michael sorry about that I guess the wind blew the door shut <laughs> so much for fresh air mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, yes Pam Heath and she is a uh, she calls herself the Yes Coach. Say yes to life. And it's three days. It started yesterday. It goes on for today and tomorrow from um, 11 Eastern to, I'm doing mental math here, 11 to 7 Eastern today and tomorrow. There is still time to register. Uh, and there's a, there is a small fee, but it is going to um, uh, an organization in the states that helps uh, helps end school bullying, and having been a victim of school bullying, and bullying, um, I I think it's a worthwhile cause. So I invite you to check it out, and I can uh, I may be able to get you in gratis if you ask me nicely. All right, let's move right into the content. Uh, the link for Pam's um, um, virtual event is down below. I was talking about negative words and sabotage, how they can sabotage our sabotages before we even begin. That's what we're talking about this week. Yes, it is. Mm. 
<laughs> Monday, uh, what was the word for the day on Monday? Ah, oh, yes, have to. I have to go pick up my kids. I have to make dinner. Uh, I have to clean my place. Well, you know what? I was saying a lot of have to's. Uh, oh, good heavens, I don't know how long I've been doing it. We all do it. We don't even realize that we're doing it. But that I had a brain shift and uh, this that's why we're doing this this week is because I realized the power of the negativity of what I was saying. And I went, you are darn lucky that you have food in your fridge. I gave myself shit one day, I did. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but uh, and you are darn lucky that you have food in your freezer that you can make dinner, little, little Miss Buttercup. You are lucky that you have a, a, a house, an apartment to clean. You are darn lucky that I don't have children, but you know that you have um, that you have healthy children that you can pick up, as opposed to sitting in Ronald McDonald House wondering if they're going to live or die. All right, yeah, that was a little harsh, but you know what? When you work with me, sometimes that is what <laughs> that's the kind of tough love that I'm going to give you, and it's all it, I emphasize the word love, don't I, guys? Mm? Yeah, you know it comes from a place of caring. Word for the day on Tuesday is, I should. Well, what a wimpy word that is, should. I should unload the dishwasher. I should, uh, yeah, I should wash the floor. Ain't gonna happen, huh? No. I 90% I guarantee you that it will not happen. But if you say, I will unload the dishwasher, I will wash the floors. I tell you what, that trains your brain. Yes, I am going to do that. And by the way, Pam and Michael, I unloaded the dishwasher last night. Finally, glory, glory, hallelujah. You knew I'd burst into song. Word for the day on Wednesday was can't. I can't. Well, and I caught myself this morning. I can't do all of this print. No, 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 no. And I said, I said no, 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 no. 6.15 in the morning, and I just trained myself. No, I, I am challenged by doing all this content. I am learning to do content. In fact, I prayed. I said, God, show me some easier ways to get this done. Um, I, uh, I am figuring out how to. That's another good one. And these things really, really help your stress level. Trust me on this, good people. Yes, 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 they do. All right, the, the days, the days, um, word yesterday was I hate. By the way, uh, I, I hate, oh, I hate this apartment. I prefer to live in the apartment of my choice in Western Canada. However, okay, does that sound a little bit better? I used to say I hate this apartment because I had other things going on. Now, I prefer, oh, okay, well, all right, so I'll live with it for now. And it's actually, it's, it is a nice apartment. I'm very blessed to be here. For more of these, uh, no, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, okay, so I would, or I prefer, or I would rather. The word of the, the day today is, what, guys, Pam, Michael, what is, other than the word just, why can't you just, what is an ADHDer's uh, biggest word? You got it overwhelm yep mm-hmm I'm overwhelmed good God Lord tender and <laughs> sweet Mary and Joseph <laughs> the word overwhelm is overwhelming in and of itself is it not put it in the chat if you're not driving that tell me if you think whether you're watching live or in the in the uh, in the on the replay Tell me, overwhelm, it's, it sounds overwhelming. Hmm? Yeah, so what about, you like this, I'm maximized, or I'm feeling maximized, or maxed out if you, if you prefer, okay? Or I'm feeling stretched, I'm stretching. I'm feeling stretched, not quite as bad, there we go. Uh, true, thank you, Pam, appreciate that. Um, or I loved this, and I'll show you where I got these things, okay? Uh, I'm, as opposed to saying I'm overwhelmed, I'm in demand. Ooh, I'm in demand. Wow, hmm. makes me sound 
kind of popular, doesn't it? Yeah, almost worth getting all of the highlights in my hair that none of my clients noticed. <laughs> Could have done last week. <laughs> It's just as hard to tell with all of the with all of the lights that but yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, where did I get these gems? Uh let me show you. Yeah, I know I'm kind of fumbly. Um if you want to find out more words of you know how how you could be self-sabotaging yourself, your health, your wealth and relationships, I oh God bless you, Pam. Thank you. Um Pick up this book. This is a wonderful book. Awaken the Giant Within, and it is written by Tony Robbins, of course. Uh, and you want to go to uh, chapter uh, chapter 16, I think it is, page 200. He has a wonderful chat, and there are actually two chapters, uh, where he gives you a plethora, yes, a plethora, a lot of words <laughs> to, um, that you can change your vocabulary. And I have been doing this system. This is why I didn't do this for a couple of months, because I thought, I'm going to try it. I'm not going to ask my clients or 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 people who watch the videos uh, to do something that I have not tried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so tried and true. It has made the difference, and I hope it'll make the difference for you. If you'd like clarification, if you want to know more about some of these words, just send me a direct message, um, uh, and we we can talk about that. Be, uh, and I'll tell you more about that. But uh, don't forget. Okay, if you like these videos if you find if you find value in them if you think there might be somebody out there whether you know them or not who is feeling oh less than ideal who could use a lift um, share this video just put it out there in in cyberspace and you don't know you may potentially save a life or even an emotional life a mental life um and so so yeah, share share this video. Sorry, there's a lot of content happening here. And I've got to give you this: uh, your seven easy <laughs> so, mirror images. They're difficult for for me anyway. Seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. It's intended as a grounding tool for your decluttering journey and beyond. We've gotten about uh, ten new subscribers. Uh, ten people have downloaded this in the last week. I'm happy. I'm proud. I'm very proud to be entering their lives and to be of service. I won't be able to, I cannot read that amount of print. I'll try to, um, uh, right, yes. What we do at Declutter the Brain is we have an amazing time of supporting each other. We're, we're, a continu we're a continuing group. Not only are we a Facebook group, Declutter the Brain, come and, come and join us. We're small enough that you won't get lost, but we, we, we have fun. Education, content, support. Um, within our, what my clients and I do is we work together. We have private coaching in a group container. So the, with Monday to Friday Voxer support. And Voxer is a messaging app. So there is never an excuse to, to get stuck. When you work with me, you know that you have complete and total support and perhaps that little bit of accountability that you, that you want to make sure that your clutter journey is successful and we know that you want success. Send me a direct message uh, or go to that website www.declutterthebrain.com and while you're downloading your, your freebie and just click the, click the link which I'm going to 45 minute uh, zero pressure call it to see if we're a fit to work together or not and if not then I will, I'll be happy to recommend to you someone that can help you no one goes away empty-handed on my watch all right until Monday 11 Eastern when we are talking about decluttering your office yes we are Till Monday at 11 Eastern, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being my why, and have a terrific weekend. Bye for now.